One of the most annoying things about discussing religion, on this channel and in real life, is the fact that apologists and religious leaders are often defending some kind of supernatural system that is impossible to verify or falsify. When they talk about how God operates or what causes people to go to hell, there is literally no way on earth to fact-check any of it. All you can do is check for internal consistency. But even then, they can just make up some other unfalsifiable thing to plug those holes. In short, religious leaders can just make up anything they feel like, and people will believe it. My favorite example of this is Christian apologists' answers to the question, why did Jesus have to die? There are many different answers to this question, but all of them are made up ad hoc to save face for a man who accidentally got his ass kicked by the Romans 2,000 years ago. Oh, uh, you see, God was really mad at us, so he took it out on Jesus. Uh, God wanted to show us how bad sin is. God had to enact some weirdo version of justice, even though he made the rules in the first place. You can literally just make up anything, and as long as it sounds kind of plausible, people will believe it, because it's not like you can pop your head up into heaven to see if God really is punching Jesus to relieve his anger. What scares me now, more than ever, is the fact that even when you can fact-check, even when you can pop your head up into heaven and take a look around, a lot of people in the United States just don't care, because they love the image of Donald Trump. He says things that are not only ridiculous on the surface, but which we can prove are wrong, and people still believe him just like they believe their favorite religious preacher who thinks you can pray the gay away or that God will protect you from COVID. Tariffs are paid by other countries? I guess that must be how tariffs work. The election was rigged? Huh, I guess it must have been rigged. We could nuke a hurricane to save Florida? I didn't realize that. COVID is a hoax? I guess it must be a hoax. Immigrants are eating people's pets? I guess that's a real thing that's really happening. Just like any deranged pastor at a megachurch, Donald Trump can just make things up on the spot, as needed, and people actually believe it. I can kind of understand this when we're talking about the supernatural, because, again, there's really no way to check. But Donald Trump is up here effectively saying, 1984 style, that the chocolate ration has been increased when it has in fact been decreased. And when you do check these false and contradictory statements, his supporters just say that God works in mysterious ways. I mean, it's all fake news and AI. Just like the slimiest of religions, Trump and his flock can just make up any ad hoc excuse to save their theology. I mean, political narrative. And part of the reason this works is because his fellow Republican leaders have no shame, just like many religious leaders. They will say anything they feel like because they know their audience will not check them. They're eating our pets. FEMA money is being given away to illegal immigrants. Joe Biden injects himself with ground-up aborted fetuses to counteract the effects of oxygen deprivation from wearing the face mask he bought with money from Ukraine using Hunter's laptop. Apparently you can just make this stuff up, because people will just believe it. And that's all there is to Donald Trump. His tax cuts didn't pay for themselves, he wasn't able to build the wall, and he has concepts of a healthcare plan eight years in the making. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris actually has specific policy plans to help regular people, continuing her work from the Inflation Reduction Act to allow Medicare to negotiate drug prices directly, which has already achieved a $35 price cap for insulin, expanding the low-income housing tax credit and other tax incentives for building and buying starter homes, removing tax benefits from corporations who buy single-family homes as investments, cracking down on grocery store mergers to increase competition and reduce prices, and continuing her work on expanding the child tax credit so people can afford to start families, to name a few. These are real policies that will help real people in the real world. I am voting for Kamala Harris for the same reason I have this YouTube channel, to promote reasonable thinking based on observable reality, rather than delusional conspiracy claims completely divorced from observable reality. And just to be clear, Long-time viewers of my channel will know that I'm not some kind of woke activist who operates on feel-sorry-for-ism who thinks that Kamala Harris deserves to be president because she's brown and has a vagina. I've made enough videos on those subjects to prove that this is not how I approach the world, and I'm happy to see that Harris is not making a big deal out of her race and gender. Instead, she is focused on demonstrating that she is the right person for the job, or at least head and shoulders above the only other option.
If you're subscribed to me because you think I'm some sort of contrarian, and you think I would appreciate a contrarian like Donald Trump, you're just not paying attention. This channel is not about being edgy and contrarian, and if being these things makes you feel clever and special, and if that's why you're voting for Donald Trump, then you are going to regret voting for the delusional megachurch preacher instead of the person with concrete policy plans to help you and your family.